Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Icewind Dale. Alright, I think we're ready to, uh, um, try facing the, uh, the giants. Um, not quite sure how we're gonna go about it, uh, because I, I think I gotta initiate it by talking to Yorl, and that means going into that room. Um, I'm actually tempted to, uh, take the Necklace of Missiles along. We can swap that. Um, let's go for. Ready for action. Do I have protection from fire? Do I not have that memorized? I may not have it memorized. No, wait, I should. Protection from fire. All right, let's go with that. Okay, and. Protection from cold will cancel that for now. All right. Speak your mind. So I've got protection from fire. Hopefully, it, it lasts long enough to uh, get over here. Now, one of my concerns is going to be getting back through here. Hello. You again? You have what you came for. Get out of my sight. Yes, I have the badge. Now I have now I have come for your life. Prepare to die. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, let's see. That necklace of missiles. Go for it. 11 damage. Not a whole lot. At once. Out. Get. Probably need to do that. Get get around them. Get around them. That is a lot of guys. Report. There we go. Acknowledged. Forward. So we've gotten a bit of dam uh, extra damage in. Um, Alright, now let's go for a fireball. It's probably going to uh, aggro the white worm. It's okay. Let's go ahead and turn that on now. To victory. Uh, I think that might have hit. Yeah, that hit our our guys a little bit. All right, so let's try a little bit back. There we go. We're actually doing pretty well against. Uh, against these guys. I'm actually kind of surprised. These appear to be standard two-handed axes. Kind of surprised that the, uh, um... The worms are not, uh... coming out after us. Ten magic missiles. I like the sound of that. Uh... What a... acid arrow. Oh, I think we got Yorl. Yep, Yorl death. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. There we go. Take that. Take that, take that. Again, I'm kind of surprised that the uh, worms are not uh, attacking us. 
Guess they don't really care about the uh, um, the Giants. I guess it kind of makes sense. Are you going to come? Very well. Hello. Prepare yourself. Doo -doo 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 -doo. These guys are actually not as bad as I thought. I was genuinely expecting them to be uh of course. A bit more of a handful. They're not actually doing a whole lot of damage. You know what? I should probably uh, swap that back in, because that'll reduce the amount of damage that I'm taking. No, that's, that's right. You were wearing it. And for good measure... Start killing you. victory. Whoops. Well, yes, understood. Let's grab the gems, grab the wolf pelt. I don't think these guys have as many hit points as they should have. Maybe it's just me. I mean, we are doing a good amount of damage, and it is taking the taking a while to kill them, but still, it seems like it should be harder. <laughs> Not like I'm complaining. Let the let's try shroud of flame on that guy. Ooh. Oh, maybe I accidentally cast Shroud of Flame back in the, uh, um... You need me? Uh... Temple on, uh, or the, the museum on I my own care. people. That, that could be what I did. That, that could be what I did. Um... These go to you. I was actually gonna use that, but I don't think we need to. Let's put these away. Oh, that's right. Container's full. I forgot about that. Um, actually... should probably go for any individuals. Um... I got 15 pearls in here, so let's put that in there, that in there. Can I put these in? Nope. Well. I think I'll just do that. Oh! I only have 20 stacks of uh, these gems at a time. Interesting. They can go in there. How can I help? At once. Your life is forfeit. All right, what else can we do? Uh, vitriolic sphere? Sure, why not? <laughs> How much damage did that do? 29 damage, wow. Well, 
I guess I can cast something else. How about a Chromatic Orb? At this point, I'm just going through the uh, spells I got because I can. Well. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. no. I can't believe you can do that. Um, can I can I cancel that? I don't think I can cancel that. Uh, well, hmm, that was that was dumb. Right. Well, okay, I can. Good. I was able to cancel it. Whew. That that was dumb. <laughs> Tried clicking on someone else, and, uh, didn't quite work out the way that I wanted. Hi, puppy. Yes. Alright. Uh, let's go for force missiles, why not? Shroud of Flame, because we can, because I've got it. Might as well just rest after this anyway. Well, guess not. It shall be done. There we go. Shroud of Flame. Whoa. Wild Surge Polymorphed. Uh-oh. Frost Giant. Barely injured. Hmm. It shall be done. Jeez, he's going fast. <laughs> Taste my steel. Well, that was interesting. Well, at least he turned back in uh, into a frost giant when he died. Your command. That was hilarious. Of course. I was not expecting that. That was great. I love it. Ah, uh, that's why I chose the uh, the wild mage. Well, that and the level variation actually. Those are those are pretty good uh, I'm here. benefits. All right, shroud of flame again. In uh oh. Well. At once. Okay. He seems to have decided to come back. So we'll go for Mel Sassadero. Prepare your And really hope that we don't get a. Uh, oh, hello. Well, got a level up there. That's always nice. Take that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put uh, these uh, items in our bag. And level up time. Uh, thief level. Thief level. I like it. All right. Uh, got additional hit skill points 25, additional hit points 4, lore increased by 3. Alright, um, I don't really need pickpocket. Can't increase, can't decrease that. Um, I can get these equalized. That works. Okay. No one else. Ways off. Your ways off. Your ways off from everything now. Ways off, of course. Ways off, ways off. Okay. Very well. That's just a regular battle axe, right? Yep. Should be a giant sized. So you return. What do you want of me? I've been working towards slaying the beast that the slaves are being sacrificed to. Oh. I've yet to complete the quest, but I'm working on it. Farewell for now. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess killing all of the giants wasn't the uh, the key. I gotta actually go kill the uh, the little worms. 
Well. Hmm. Slaughtering giants. So much fun. I'm a little bit worried about what exactly this will entail, but uh, I've got plenty of magic missiles, so that that helps. Uh, I might switch you over to the bow at this point. Um, let's go with a uh, quick save. And... Let's see if we can find... Uh, Frostbite. There he is. And I would like to ask you some questions. Your old Frostbeard says he sends your, you slaves as sacrifices. Is that true? Uh, well, that must come to an end. End? Not tell Frostbite end. It want end? Frostbite gives it end. Die! So be it! Enemy sighted. Run away! Run away. Oops. Run away. Probably should have cast this to begin with. Your life is that forfeit. I'm not sure if that... what happened with that. So it looks like it immediately, uh... evaporated. Well, go with a uh, force... Actually, let's see. So, that's White Worm. That's Frostbite. Okay. Let's go with Vitriolic Sphere on Frostbite. And, well, killed one already. So we'll go with magic missile on that one. You guys don't seem all that difficult, although, ooh. 16 crushing damage from Frostbite, wow. Okay. Let's have her uh, cast some healing on herself. Take these other gems. All right. Yes, it shall be done. Let's go look for the others. I think there was one. Yep, there was one over here. How about that? How about? Eh, what the heck? Let's go with two of them. Whee! Whee! Oh, uh, you, you get back here. That sounds terrible. On the rear one, and again on the rear one. Kind of surprised that they don't have, um, breath weapons. I honestly expected that they would. Genuinely surprised that they don't have anything like that. Alright. Are there any more? So, this is supposedly littered with human bones. I don't see it. Maybe it's just me. I don't really see it. Okay, well, I think we got them all. Um, for good measure, might as well, uh... Cast some healing spells. Just to quickly get ourselves back up to uh, full hit points. It shall be done. Oh no no no! Keep singing. Almost there. Agreed. <laughs> ah. Onward. There we go. All right. One more batch of that should do. There we go. I am kind of surprised that there's nothing up here. Oh, 
Uh, this huge chair is constructed from the hide of some animal stretched over bone. Well, I'm kind of surprised that there's no container in there. You'd think that he would have his own... He'd have a container in there. Alright, you know what? Let's actually, uh, set everyone up there while you go loot. Very well. Okay, I already looted that one. Ooh, a wand. And now I'm full on items. Well, I can go there. Potion of heroism. Those are pretty good. Probably could use those uh, a little bit more often. Insect Plague. Potion of Genius. And Potion of Fortitude. Got another uh, bag here. We got uh, Potion of Mind Focusing. And a Potion of Master Thievery. I think that's the first one we've gotten of those in this game. Lots of potions. Lots of potions. Lots of axes, too. They had some axes to grind. They had some axes to grind. Ooh, a magical dagger. Uh, scroll of spike stones. Potion of fire breath. Potion of cold resistance. Ran out of uh, inventory space. Go ahead and grab these potions first. Uh, potion of Cloud Giant Strength. Nice. Potion of Clarity. Champion Strength. And a Magical Rogue. Let's go uh, deposit those while we Four. talk to uh, Davin. I've been working towards slaying the beast that the slaves are being sacrificed to. I've slain the beast. You need no longer fear it. That is excellent news. 420,000 experience points. Wow. You've saved us from a horrible fate. However, we are still in, in a desperate situation since the giants hold us captive here. I would ask that you free us. Yes, I will make an effort to do so. I foresee this is a difficult task, though. So again, we're being like Scotty. <laughs> yes, but... I think I know how it may be accomplished. Hmm. Oh, please tell me. There are only two paths out of here. One lies through the heart of the giant's domain, and the other... And they know we cannot pass through, through without being seen. The other is a small cave to the north of here. The giants only place one guard up upon us to prevent us from entering that cave and gaining our freedom. Do you know what lies within this cave? Well, no. Perhaps you should start your quest by scouting the cave and removing any hazards there before removing the guard. I've done so already. You need fear nothing in the cave. That is good news indeed. Then you need only eliminate the guard without alerting the giants. I've done so already. It seems there are no obstacles to your freedom. Leave now, while you can. You know, because these giants... These giants might, uh, um, resurrect themselves. I... you... I... My friend, that is excellent news. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Forgive me for cutting our conversation short, but we will be leaving now. Thank you for all you have done for us. Farewell, Davin. And another 180,000. And no one gets any levels for that. For all of that, but... Oh, wow. 15,000 away. That's it. Uh, let's see. You're not very close to any of yours. Uh, you're a bit far... farther... far away. You're a ways away. Okay. Still, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. These are all priest scrolls. And let's get these, uh, magic items identified. Well... That looks like a wand of polymorph from uh, uh, the last game. Oh, I haven't identified uh, Jarl's stuff. Uh, Jarl, oh, Jarl, whatever. Close enough. Jarl's axe plus three. This mighty weapon consists of a five to six foot haft and a heavy blade. 
The axe is double-bitted with blades on both sides of the half. Haft. It is an unwieldy weapon, but a skilled warrior can strike blows of tremendous strength with it. No, he can't! You couldn't even use this with two hands. The old Frostbeard, the Frost Giant ye Leader, wielded this axe. The weapon has been enchanted with several beneficial magics. Dexterity minus one, constitution plus one. Uh, 1d12 plus 3 slashing damage. Requires 10 strength. Really? Really? Giant Sleep plus 3. This weapon was used by the human ranger Alfax Grom. Alfax hated the giants that plagued his homeland, and he was trained to exterminate them from a young age. Although Alfax originally fought his foes using the sword and bow, he quickly decided that those weapons were too slow against his huge foes. His druid friend, friend Elda, uh, Eladan, enchanted this hammer for him. So he felt that the sword and the bow were too slow... Maybe he just means too slow to actually kill them? Because I'm pretty sure a hammer would be slower. Although, oh, well, that speed factor of one kind of does help. Even though the Warhammer has passed through many hands since Alfax's untimely de demise, Giant Sleep will always be remembered as the weapon of that powerful warrior. Okay. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, male plus two. We've got uh, Dagger of Venom plus two. Six points of poison damage per round. Wow. Up to a total of 15 damage. Well. Wand of the Heavens. Flame Strike. Ooh, I like that. 17. You can have that. And Cloak of Protection plus two. Um, where does that fit? That fits there. Could give that to you. You've got a cloak. You do not, and you've been doing more combat lately, so... Yeah. She gets... She stays out of combat. As much as I'd like to give it to her, get her down, uh, she just doesn't get into combat enough uh, into melee range of things, or missile range for that. Well, she gets in missile range, but I generally don't uh, go after her. That'll this will replace uh, that scroll when when we're done with it. So we've got Ray's dead, but I will probably never actually use it. All right, you've got uh, plenty of free space now. Uh, let's go search that one. Uh, slave, what are you doing? Oh, just you know, taking a taking a walk. Uh, we've got some uh, magical darts. We've got a potion of magic shielding. Potion of invulnerability. Uh, yeah, I think that other potion of invulnerability was, is a fake. Now, let's see. Potion of absorption. Potion of agility. Leather armor. And a dagger. Ah, darts of Stunning. Can't tell what either of those are. Hmm. A scimitar. Got another deck of cards. And two potions. Potion of Speed and, potent el and an Elixir of Health, I think. Yeah. Oil of Speed. So I think that's about it uh, to find here. Some uh, decent stuff. Um, the things we got before the battle started really are, are kind of what took the cake. So those darts of stunning could be decent. Alright, scimitar plus three, frost brand. Frost brand. Ooh. Uh, fire resistance plus 50%. Uh, 1d8 plus 3 slashing. Uh, it should do extra damage against cold things. Um, I'll give that to Ald. If I get another uh, proficiency slot, I might go with that. Leather armor plus 2. 
just standard leather armor plus two. Uh, we've got a uh, dagger plus two long tooth. 1d6 plus two damage. And a blur deck, another blur deck. I don't suppose we can stack these. Nope. Okay. Should probably actually start using those. Alright, um, actually maybe it would be better for her to have that. I don't know if she's likely to get a uh, proficiency slot anytime soon. Probably not. But I suppose it's possible. Alright, well, uh, we're done here. We got that uh, badge. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. I don't think there's anything else to do or search. Look through all of those, I do believe. How can I help? Very well. Just double check to make sure that I got everything that was in here. Yep. And that I got everything that was in these two. Yep. Alright, let's get out of here. It shall be done. Alright, well, uh, let's call this an episode, and um, I'm not really sure what else we have uh, available to us at this point, to be honest, uh, other than uh, the Dorn's Deep Upper Depths. Uh, I think what we've done everything else. Um, don't really need to head back to town yet. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to. I might... I might just wait until uh, we're actually ready to go up a level. Oh, uh, ready to go up a level and um, get sixth level spells on uh, Ellie here because uh, ooh, open healing one. Wonder if that will fit in here. It will. <laughs> so we've got a. Uh, a little bit of a better healing potion at this point now. Um, but yeah, uh, when Ellie can get 6th level spells, then it might be a good idea to head back to um, town at Kaldahar and uh, see if we can, if he actually has any available, which he may not. Um, we'll have to play it by ear kind of thing. Anyway, uh, I'll call this an episode in the next one. Um, I'm not sure. We'll figure something out. See you then, everyone.